Hey guys, it's Flip. Today we're going to show you how to hang a wall-mounted bathroom cabinet. So we want to hang this cabinet centered over the toilet and the first thing we want to do is to find the studs in the walls because we want to get at least one screw into a stud. So um, the little trick I'm going to use to do that is just a magnet and you can just kind of scan your walls until you find a stud and then we just use a little piece of painters tape to mark where that stud is you can see I have a couple others marked and then you can use painters tape and mark where your stud is or you can just use a level and mark where your stud is if you want to watch a whole video on this process I'll put a link on the screen right now for you to check out later First we found the center point of the toilet and marked it with the right edge of this painter's tape. Then we measured from the wall to the center point of the toilet and we go up to where we want to hang the cabinet and we will mark that point on the wall with a pencil. That's how we know where we want the center of our cabinet. So now we have a little spot marking where we want the center of our cabinet and I have a pencil line marking where a stud is. Then we're marking the center line a little bit darker. Then we hold the cabinet up and mark the top of it so we have a general guideline of where we want the cabinet to be. Then we're going to use a level to get our actual line where we want the top of the cabinet to be. So the cabinet came with two pre-drilled holes but they don't line up with where our studs are. So we had to figure out where to drill a new hole to line up with the stud. So how we did that was we marked that center line and then we measured over from there to see how far away a stud is. Then on the inside of the cabinet, we marked the center line and then we measured that same distance over and marked it on the inside where a stud is. So I'm going to drill a new hole right there. Then I'm going to use a countersink bit so we can widen the pilot hole at the top so we can recess the screw. This is where it helps to have two people. We marked the center line on the top of our cabinet and then we held that up and matched it to the center line on the wall and put it on our level line and then used the cabinet to mark our two holes where we're going to put our pilot holes in the wall. You can also make a template to mark your wall if you don't want to hold the cabinet up. I used a 964 spit on the left side and a quarter inch bit on the right side for my anchor. Then we put our screws in. We used a two and a half inch number 10 on the left side in the stud and a one and a half inch number 10 with an anchor on the right. Then we hung our door. That's just a matter of putting in the four screws it comes with. It's a lot easier to put your cabinet up and then put your door on. Then you can make your needed adjustments to get it level. There's adjustment screws in each hinge that'll move the door up and down. You can just mess around with these until you get the door square. And that's it. We got the cabinet up, centered over the toilet. Hopefully this video helped you out. If you like this cabinet, I'll put a link to it on Amazon under the video in the description. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.